Today we're at Crown Manufacturing where an engineer has taken a passion for a certain Italian scooter to a multi-million pound company making fit outs for well-known retailers around the country. So we started in the late 90s uh, with manufacturing of Lambretta parts. That was my director's passion. Um, it was a hobby as well, and he turned it into a business. We manufacture for the retail industry, uh, all the fittings and fixtures that go into a store before it's then um, merchandised out. So everything that's hung on the wall, everything that's in the mid floor, we predominantly produce, design and, and provide. We process sheet metal work, which is flat form sheet metal in various thicknesses. That comes in, we laser cut it into its flat form. Then it gets moved on to folding. Sometimes from folding it moves directly into the paint shop with, to be finished. Um, or it might move into the welding area for some fabrication work, some fixtures and fittings put onto it to then be finished and painted. Ultimately, it starts as a platform sheet and goes through and finishes as a finished folded product. We found that being dependent on third party wasn't enabling us to react in every area to the needs and response on site to get a store opening. So over the years we've invested to try and bring all that in house. Our, final, our investment this year has been really useful to close off most of that dependency on the third party. Another passion of Dean's is, is Willis Jeeps, Ford Willis Jeeps, which we've now got a website, joesmurtlepool.com. It's all about refurbishment and full restoration of Willis Jeeps. We make all the panel work, all the body work. We do full restoration bodies and full restoration Jeeps. Go from, right from each individual part to a full Jeep. The company continued to go from strength to strength with three specific product lines, but then disaster struck. In 2018, the day before my birthday, 26th of September, um, we had a disaster. Uh, most companies would probably be ruined by it. I don't know how we saw through it, but we had a fire, malfunction in our paint shop. One of the benefits of having the great relationship with our client and being committed as a manufacturer to them was with a disastrous fire and having to reduce our staff inevitably because we had 50% of our factory completely demolished. Um, they could see that we were going to build from it. So their commitment to us was similar to our commitment to them. They'll support us providing we're there and we'll build around whatever they can give us to build back up to where we are and now actually beyond what we were before. The fire also gave them the opportunity to look at processes and also production flow. After the disaster of the fire, most companies probably would have struggled to pick up from that. Uh, due to the really good relationship we've got supporting our customer, um, it, was, it was coming back to us in that they could see that if we could build from it, they would build with us and, and support us with work that they could give us. And that has growth has come from that commitment from the client, as is our commitment to the client. You could see behind me one of their two huge manufacturing plants, and this is key to the success of their business. Everything is in-house and keeps them super efficient. One of the things that came out of the fire was being, and the understanding that working smarter with the people you've got can help, rather than just continually employing people to cover off, get everybody working smarter. So we've got our own in-house development of softwares and apps to try and make all the processes across the whole business run smoother. That helps a lot, rather than you know just trying to depend on people all the time. Historically, sheet metal work was always done in the 2D world because it comes in flat and we form it. Bringing 3D into this company years ago has evolved really nicely over the years. Probably going through the disaster of the fire, really saw, saw that come to light and the new machines that we've bought through that period because 3D now exists on the machines as well. So that integration between creating a 3D model, putting it through to a machine is, is reality. That, that is a, a straight transfer across from PC to machine. Our latest investment, which is a tube laser, really takes away the dependency on a third party that we did end up struggling with. The passion for Lambrettas is what really started Crown Manufacturing, being a manufacturer, growing out of that into producing for the retail industry. The disaster, as much as it was a disaster, has made us bounce off of that. We found far more productivity from being organized, laying out, and that's gonna move us on to the next level. We've now got a new factory, it's well set out, we can only grow even further. So there you have it, how a passion for an Italian scooter became a multi-million pound success story.